After studying this module, you shall be able to know the historical background and the causes that led to industrial revolution. Also understand the economic perspective of the industrial revolution. You can also have an idea of the essential conditions necessary for such revolution and its consequences on the society and the economy. Also understand the role of industrialization in the structural shift of GDP and analyze the consequences of structural shift in GDP in developing and developed world. In the middle of the 18th century, we saw the beginning of the fundamental change from a typically agrarian society to an industrialized one in England. The period thereafter was characterized by technological inventions which revolutionized the society and the economy in several ways. This period of change was known as industrial revolution. The process of change spread to other parts of the world as well. Over the last half century, similar shift or industrialization has been observed in many developing countries, contributing significantly to the economic development of the country. This module aims at developing a clear understanding of the conditions that led to industrial revolution and its consequences. Further, it explores the importance of industries in the structural shift in GDP of an economy. Let's look at the historical background of industrial revolution. The period 1760 to 1850 was marked with fundamental changes in England. The country witnessed a gradual, though not abrupt, transformation in agriculture, textile and metal manufacture, transportation, economic policy and the social structure. The era saw the change of typical agrarian and handicraft based economy to an economy which was predominantly based on industries and machine manufactured products. This process of change has been termed as the industrial revolution. The term industrial revolution was first used to describe England's economic development from 1760 to 1840 by English economic historians named Arnold Tonby. The process of change or the revolution that began in England in the 18th century soon spread across Europe and North America. Though the year 1760 represents the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, it is often considered that it actually started way back in 16th century with major scientific discoveries and ideas, benefits of which was being materialized in the post-1760 period. The main features of the Industrial Revolution were the technological, socio-economic and cultural changes. The technological changes were the key to the entire revolution. This included use of new metals like iron and steel and most importantly the use of coal based steam engines, internal combustion engines and electricity. Invention of spinning jenny and power looms resulted in increased production with minimal expenditure of human energy. Concept of factory system having distinct division of labor and specialized role of the workers came into being. Development of means of transportation and communication 
enabled trade and expansion of the market for the finished product. Technological advancement tremendously increased the efficient use of natural resources and allowed for mass production of the goods. During this period, industry grew four times faster. The Industrial Revolution brought about changes that completely revolutionized families and lifestyles. Factory system attracted workers to an extent that they moved out of the rural family economy to urban areas. This led to rapid urbanization in England and cities grew at a tremendous rate. By 1900, Great Britain alone had more cities with a population of 100,000 or more than the entire Europe had in 1800. Let's look at the economic perspective of Industrial Revolution. Several views have been put forward in the past explaining the Industrial Revolution. Most of these were restricted to identifying the causes. Apart from technologies, there were other factors that favored Industrial Revolution in England. This included religious freedom, confidence of no invasion, and trade potential due to long coastline of this island nation, unification of states into single economic unit, and presence of huge coal reserves. However, there has been a great extent agreement on the role of political system, property rights, and flexibility of legal system as the cause that led to industrial revolution. These views attribute the changes which took place in the late 18th century to the glorious revolution of 1688 that reinstated the supremacy of the parliamentary system, minimal government and secure property rights. Presumably, these changes in the legal system created conducive environment for investment which led to the industrial revolution. But evidences do not support these views as no structural changes could be detected after 1668 in any of the financial data like interest rates while property rights were as secure as in other European countries. Table shows the per capita level of industrialization from 1750 to 1913 of different countries. Great Britain clearly outnumbers rest of the countries throughout the period. If you look at the table, we are going to talk about per capita levels of industrialization and will take different countries. For example, Great Britain 10, 16, 25, 65, 87, 100, 115. Belgium 9, 10, 14, 28, 43, 56, 88. United States 4, 9, 14, 21, 38, 69, 126. France 9, 9, 12, 20, 28, 39, 59. Germany 8, 8, 9, 15, 25, 52, 85. Austria and Hungary 7, 7, 8, 11, 15, 23, 32. Italy 8, 8, 8, 10, 12, 17, 26. Russia 6, 6, 7, 8, 10, 15, 20. China 8, 6, 6, 4, 4, 3, 
three and look at India's figures seven six six three two one two students must note here that all entries are based on the index value of hundred equal to per capita industrialization in Great Britain in 1900 data of England of course includes Ireland with England Wales and Scotland which was collectively known as United Kingdom let's have a look on technological inventions industrial revolution was mainly a technological revolution brought about by the major inventions during that period the underlying reasons that could explain the industrial revolution requires focusing on the sources of these inventions these inventions turned out to be the major factor that differentiates Britain from other countries the focus therefore shifts on the economic incentives for the inventors which acted as a driving force for inventions leading to industrial revolution it becomes evident that the industrial revolution in Britain was the outcome of Britain's success in the international economy which offered Britain's inventors with unique and highly remunerative possibilities as opposed the common belief that it happened due to luck or genius minds British culture and scientific advancement however role of greater literacy and numeracy cannot be ruled out which downplayed the major technological achievements through innovation in the 18th century the technological achievement of industrial revolution was consequence of the economic development that preceded the industrial revolution which produced the high wage cheap energy economy Ellen in 2006 argues that the main motive of invention of technology was to make money the major implication of this concept were technological inventions were considered as investment which would yield returns in future high enough to offset the current cost Two, the inventions were done mainly to come up with new product or reduce the making cost of existing product expensive labor and cheap energy led to the invention of machines that substituted energy and capital for labor three market size is very crucial for profits to offset the cost of inventions for example scale of mining industry was much greater than any other country so returns on the inventions in mining machinery were highest four inventions were also encouraged by patents which gave the inventors right to all the gains from the inventions better property rights for the knowledge were the main reason that led to inventions of industrial revolution though English patent law was enacted in 1624 it failed to draw much interest during 17th century having minimum role in inventions compared to other incentives to invent fifthly in the absence of patent incentives for private invention were small compared to group or collective inventions which enabled them to divide the cost and pool how was the production organized during the industrial revolution families produced most of the food clothing and other articles they used in rural areas in cities manufacturing was strictly regulated by the guilds and the government goods thus manufactured were of high quality but limited and costly merchants needed cheaper items as well as in large quantities for their trade to grow this led to the major shift in the organization of production from the cottage industry 
to factory. Merchants started controlling the manufacturing process from start to finish. For example, cloth merchant would buy raw wool from the sheep owners, have it spun into yarn by the farmer's wives and take it to the country weavers to be made into textiles. The country weavers manufactured the cloth at a much lower cost. Similar methods of 